Project Heritage presents PH on ECTV. My heart is filled with light. Goshen is in my heart. I reject wrong and do what's right. Goshen is in my heart. In my heart, there is no noise. Goshen is in my heart. It is where I hear God's voice. Goshen is in my heart. I know Goshen's in my heart. So I whip us from the start to all. Because Goshen's in my heart I know Goshen's in my heart So I whip us from the start To obey and do my part Because Goshen's in my heart Jameson back with you for another exciting week as we look at life post living in Goshen. So how was your week? Did you enjoy learning about being pure in heart and getting rid of sin, that awful furuncle of the spirit? Very good. We'll talk a little bit about that in a while. But now we're going to learn some new words in Espanol con Senora Leanne. Over to you, Senora Leanne. Gracias, Senora Alana. Hola, chicos. Hi, kids. So, last week we learned numbers 1 to 10 in French. So today we are going to learn how to count in French. Spanish in Espanol. Vamos a contar. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Say that with me one more time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, 
9, 10. Muy bien. So let's see if you remember those numbers now. The plague of the livestock was plague number, was it A, numero dos? Was it B, numero cinco? Or was it C, numero nueve? Numero cinco, that's correct. It was plague number five, cinco. But do you remember how to say five in French? Go ahead, shout it out. That's correct. It's cinq. You are so smart. You all are brilliant. Let's give you one more question to see if you remember those colors that we learned. So in plague number one, numero uno. The water was turned into what color in Spanish? Was it A, rojo, B, verde, or was it C, amarillo? Excelente! Rojo is red in Spanish. Rojo. But what about French? Do you remember how to say rojo or red in French? Rouge, yay! You all are doing an excellent job. But that's all for now, kids. Hasta la próxima. See you next time. So back to you, Senora Alana. Adios. Gracias, Senora Liana. Thank you, Miss Leanne. Okay, kids. Now remember when David sinned, he prayed to God and he said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. So today we're going to be looking at some special little letters that form little words that are called prefixes. The word re, the letters R and E, mean to do something again. So when he says, renew a right spirit in me, it means, Lord, make my spirit new again. I'm sure you all know about recycling. That means to cycle your stuff again and to reduce and reuse. Reuse means to use again. Now we learned about being pure. And when things are not pure, the prefix there are the letters I and M, speaking as M, so impure means being not pure. I'm sure you've heard about imperfect as well. The letters I am means it's not that way so much. So we learned a new word today, impure. And if something is not clean, it is unclean. So we have the two letters U and N. If your room is not clean, it is untidy. So today we learned about M, re, and un as three powerful prefixes. And let me see if you can use that during the week. Show us your use of prefixes. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed learning your Spanish words 1 to 10 in Espanol. And until next time, we're going to worship the Lord for the rest of the week. And we're going to worship him now singing, Hallelujah, our God is here. Hasta luego. Let's worship together.
continuing to track the latest developments around the GBKC. And the latest updates on projectheritage.org. The resources on our PH website just keep getting better and better. Hey, the PH team just uploaded more resources. Words of Wisdom, Fear of the Lord 1, and Coloring and Activity Pack 5 are now online. The new coloring and activity pack has activities based on precipitation. Precipitation? Precipitation. Remember? When water falls from air to land, it's called precipitation. We learned about that in the plague of hail. Precipitation is any form of water that falls from the sky. And hail is ice that falls from the sky. And we're going to learn how to make... Wait! Hold up. Did I just see... Yes! Ice cream! Yay! Wow! These living and ocean resources are really well thought out! <laughs> We'll be right back after a quick break. Great news, kids, and parents, too. Now you can download your very own Living in Goshen resources at www.projectheritage.org. Get free music, ringtones, activity sheets, and more. Visit projectheritage.org and keep your house filled with light. My house is Welcome back! This week, we have another special interview with two of our favorite characters from Living in Goshen. Hmm, you mean Benjamin and his dad? No. Ezra and his dad? No. Asha and Yora? No! We are going to have a chat with Cow and Sheep! Let's start our Goshen Meet app so we can link with our special guests. Cow, 
Wow, sheep, it's so good to see you again. How are you doing? When we were living in Egypt, things were really bad. Plague after plague after plague. Everything has been so much better once we moved to Goshen. We were safe from the plagues. I heard 300 pigs, 500 goats, and 200 camels dropped dead just like that. This situation is bad. <gasps> That's absolutely terrible. It is only a mooter of time before it hits the rest of us. I'm moving out of here. Bad. Where will you go? I'm moving to Goshen. I am sure the animals there are safe. I can't tell you when last I had a good night's rest since all these plagues started. And believe me, counting sheep is not helping. Come on, y'all. Move it. Make room for me. Because I sure don't feel like dying today. Move! Thank God I'm safely inside. There is such a strong sense of community now. But, of course, when Egypt was in darkness, the houses in Goshen were filled with light. light. Tell us. What has your experience been like? It has been marvelous, absolutely marvelous. Everyone is praying, worshiping, and even dancing to the new music. I have been musing on how peaceful and how joyful it is to have Goshen in our hearts. And how do you feel about all this, sheep? It's like God has given me a basket of joy. I'm so very thankful for this journey. I can't stop giving thanks. There you have it, kids. Even the animals are thankful, joyful, prayerful, and peaceful. Thankful, joyful, prayerful, peaceful. I'm thankful, joyful, prayerful, peaceful. Mm. We'll be right back after a quick break. Hey kids, now you can catch Project Heritage online anytime and on any device. Project Heritage Canopy Kids is now on YouTube. Yay! Just visit the Elijah Center channel on YouTube and subscribe today. Subscribing is easy. Visit www.youtube.com slash Elijah Center Global or open the YouTube app and search for Elijah Center Global. Then click the subscribe button. See you online! And now, we have some very exciting news. A few weeks ago, our special investigative report broke the news of an upcoming album from Congress Music Factory. What? <laughs> we broke the news? <gasps> that just means we were the first to report on the story. This week, we were able to get our hands on a brand new track from the album. Join us for the sing-along segment as we present The Fear of the Lord. Now that's all for PH News. You can send your news stories to news at projectheritage.org. Remember to visit projectheritage.org for your ringtones, music, and activity sheets.
visit our YouTube channel and remember to watch, like, and subscribe. And let's keep our houses filled with lights. See you next week. Hey kids, we've created more songs that capture what we've learned throughout our time living in Goshen. Follow the lyrics on screen and sing along. If you call out for the Zoom and shout loudly for understanding, if you seek it like a man seeking silver and search for it like hidden treasure, you will understand how to fear the Lord. Turn your head to wisdom Apply your heart to understanding Call out for insight And cry aloud Cry aloud Look for it as silver Search as for a hidden treasure Did you guys like it? Yeah! Did you really like it? Yeah! Okay, so should we wait and play it again next week? So, you mean we should play it again now? Yeah! Sounds like we really need to play that song again. <laughs> Sounds like you really like that sound effect. Okay, folks, here's a replay of The Fear of the Lord. Let's sing along. 
call out for discernment and shout loudly for understanding. If you seek it like a man seeking silver and search for it like hidden treasure, you will understand how to fear the Lord. Turn your head to wisdom Apply your heart to understanding Call out for insight And cry aloud Cry aloud Look for it as silver Search as for a hidden treasure